All right, today we're going to be reviewing this Epato, I think Epato air compressor for if you have a flat tire, if you want to bring up your tires. It's digital, which is really nice. And get it out, you have to undo some of the packaging, but it has a nice little case that comes with it. And you have plenty, it gives you plenty of cord. Open up to your um, 12 volt cigarette lighter. And then it's got a little instruction book that comes with it. And just gives you a real quick way to get this thing started. It has a flashlight built into it. It's pretty cool. It has a needle valve adapter if you want to like pump up your basketball. And just real simple operating instructions. So we're going to go ahead and use it on this Prius. And to find the proper inflation, it's best if your car has not been driven for at least three hours. So the tires are kind of cold. So the front on this one wants 35 PSI, 35 pounds. And the back, 33. If you've been driving for a while, you could do those same numbers, but just add to them about three pounds. So this would be like 38. But better, again, if you can do this when it hasn't been driven for a while. This hasn't been driven for quite a while. So we're going to go 35 in the front, 33 in the back. And this cord, again, is pretty long. It comes with a fuse here. And I believe you can get one of these automobile fuses really cheap. This is in case something goes wrong at short circuits. It won't damage the pump. And then this little guy is what you hook up to your tire. Pull this away from the pump. It just has a nice little clip to hold it in position. It has a nice flashlight there for safety at night. It has a phone number if you need help. Very good. And here's the digital readout. So we are going to go 35 in the front, 33 in the back, 35, 33. Okay. So in this car, we have a cigarette lighter right here. Cigarette lighter port, 12 volt. We're going to hook that up. Confirm that it has power. So this one doesn't have power unless you start the car. So we are just going to press in the brake, press the start button. Okay, now we got power. There we go. All right. So it depends on your car. Some of those are hot all the time, and sometimes you have to turn the car on. Turn off the air con here. Okay. Get some of this cord going. Let's do this one in the front. All right, so we take off the little cap here. And we're going to put this on. You're going to lose a little bit of air when you put this on. Push in, twist, righty tighty. Keep going until it's super tight. And it tells you where it's at currently. So it looks like it's got 30 pounds. It takes about a minute for it to get going. 31. We want to go to 35. So we're going to use this plus button. That's 40. We're going to use a negative one. Going down by half pound. There's 35. Okay, now I'm going to just turn off the power and turn it back on. That'll start the pump. We want to tell it we want 35 pounds. Using the minus button. There we go. We're going to take power off, put it back. And it's going to, there's the pumps active now. It's going to just keep going up until it hits 35. It'll stop by itself. You'll see it hit 35. It'll still be pumping for a little bit, maybe 10 seconds. And then it'll stop. It'll say 35, maybe even 35.5. It might give you about half a pound extra. So when you're coming off of this, you lose a little bit of air, you'll still be okay. 
It's already showing us 35. We'll let it go a little longer. It'll just stop on its own. There we go. All right, now we are going to take this off pretty quick. We're going to hold this and we're going to go lefty loosey and it'll lose a little bit of air, but it's okay. Yeah, that's great. All right, we're going to do the back now. In the back, we are going to go to 33 pounds. So many cars, the front and the back inflation will be the same. But in this car, these are a little bit higher in the front. If you don't have your tires inflated properly, if they're underinflated, it's probably the worst scenario. Um, the tire has a lot of contact with the pavement, which is good for safety. And unless it's really un way under inflated, you actually might even get better performance, but it overheats and it damages the, it'll damage the tire. The tire won't last near as long. We're gonna get that righty tighty, keep going until you get rid of that hiss. And this one's showing us about 29 pounds, 30 pounds. This one's pretty close to where it should be, 31. And we wanna to go to 33. Use the minus button. There's 33. So what I'll do is I'll turn it off and turn it back on. Now the pump's going. It's already got 33 pounds. And then let it go for a little bit longer. It'll just stop on its own. There we go. Okay, now. We're going to take this off. I would use your good hand. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to hold the hose with my left. More dexterity with my right. And I'm going to come off of there so I lose as minimal amount of air as possible. Very little. Maybe a quarter of a pound. Put my, my cap back on. And I'll just repeat the same thing on the other side. So it's a really good pump. We've used this for quite a while. The only thing I would caution you about is if your tire was flat or really low and you repaired it, and you're pumping up the tire you don't want this pump to go continually until it's all the way up you want to go you know maybe i would say four or five minutes max and then let it rest let it cool down and then go another four or five minutes until you've hit your full pressure but you got to give it a cool down i'd, I'd give i try to go like five minutes on five minutes off five minutes on because you don't want to overheat it i think though if it probably got too hot you would have that fuse pop and then you could just replace the fuse. All right, so we're gonna do the other side and we'll be all done. Mm. To do the other side, I'm just gonna pass this pump through the car. I didn't really undo anything. And then I'll just open that door and do the other side. Mm. So we're in the front, we're already, we're coming in at about 27 pounds. This is on the uh, passenger side. We're all ready to go. We already told that we went 35. We're going to turn the pump off and then back on. So it's pretty fast. And if you're just topping off a tire, you're not going to overheat this pump. It's only when it's really flat and you're trying to fully inflate it, you have to let it rest at about five minutes. It takes a little while because it's just this very small piston going back and forth to create the air pressure. Alright, we just hit 35 and then it's going to take a little bit for it to shut off. We go i think if you press m maybe it'll store that that amount 35 in the computer let's see yeah i think that stores it okay so we're going to use our weak hand to hold the hose or strong or dexterous hand to spin this off lefty loosey and you could hear just a little hiss didn't lose very much our 
cap back on and then we will do the back. Again, this car is 33 pounds in the back. So we can tell it already 33. I'm just gonna use the minus button to get down to 33 pounds. There we go. Okay, let's spin that off. If you're overinflated, you have less um, of your tire on the road. That's no good either. So you really want to try to get close to what it says on the on the frame of over there by the um, driver's side door. Okay, we're going to put this on, spin it on. I'm kind of pushing in as I tighten it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this yellow power button off, back on. I'm going to come up to 33 pounds. So this is the fourth tire and we're already at 33 pounds. We got them all done. Just take you a few minutes to do this. And we are in the winter here in California. So all these tires on the vehicles will tend to be just a few pounds lower than normal because the ambient temperature is a little less. But again, if you're doing this when the car is cold, when it hasn't been driven is, is the best. 35 in the front, 33 in the back. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and hope this helps you to use this really good pump. So this is EP Auto. We will put a link in the description below. By the way, it does have a quick guide on the side of the pump if you ever lose the directions. We're doing that same procedure now on our Yukon and the front end, the rear end, the spare are all coming at 35 pounds. That's a pretty common PSI. So we're going to bring this up to 35. And this car has been driven fairly recently. It hasn't had a three. It has not had a three hour cool down. So we do have to adjust for that. And the way you do that is instead of 35, I might put in, I might try to get this to 37. And then as it cools down, it'll drop down to 35. That's when, that's the, that's what you're trying to shoot for is when the tire is cold, when it hasn't been driven, it should be 35. So that because it has been driven, the friction has made the air molecules separate and there's more pressure in there. So I have to allow for that by actually using my meter up to 37. All right, let's do the front. So take off the air cap. Green caps are from Costco because they fill the tires with nitrogen, but it's okay to add just regular atmospheric gas, which is nitrogen, oxygen. It's okay to have a combination. Doesn't, doesn't hurt anything to mix, mix them. They say nitrogen is just a better because it's a bigger molecule and less likely to leak. So we're already showing 36.5. That means that the pressure was already pretty close to being right. I'm going to go 37. And again, it said 35 on the door jam, but we got to give it about two pounds more because it was recently driven just within about a last hour. So I'll turn it off, turn it back on. It's going to just come up half a pound and then it'll run for a little bit, we'll let it stop and then we'll do the same on the other tires. There we go. Okay, so I'll take this one off. And again, this for this truck, it's pretty common for most vehicles. It's going to be often the same tire pressure on all four. You get that on nice and tight. It's just in case there's any kind of leak in the valve, you're not going to you're not going to lose any air. 
Grab it. Go to the back. Usually they give you enough cord to get to all your tires, even on a bigger vehicle like this. So this again is 35 pounds. Get this one on. There we go. I'm adding two pounds. It's already got 36.5. I'm going to go up just half a pound. If you put air in all your tires and you're still getting an air, uh, a tire service warning on your dash, what's gone on is the little battery that's connected to this sensor is just expired and you have to have the um, sensor replaced because they don't replace the battery, they just replace the whole thing. Okay, so that's coming in 37.5. That's gonna let me lose a little bit of air as I take this off. Got it, put that on, and then we'll do the other side. Same idea. Watching our video, and please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. And also click the little bell notification button so we can send you uh, weekly videos on all the different ways of fixing appliances around your home and saving you lots of money. So thanks again for watching, and please also press the like button for our video if this was helpful to you. Free to contact me at the email listed below, which has got the fixit guy at yahoo.com with any of your questions.